Okay, so in order to better understand the operation of uh, the standard Ethernet, let's try how it works in a Linux operating system. So, uh, first let's examine the uh, hardware that is associated with the, the network related stuff in Linux. So, this command here will show, will output the devices for uh, our uh, that, that, that supports uh, the network so I have here two uh, three so you have uh, first one an Ethernet device okay, so here so it's a gigabit Ethernet controller and its capac uh, its capacity is uh, one gigabit per second I also have a wireless interface from Qualcomm so for this exercise or for this demonstration we're interested in this okay. so next step is check the interfaces the configured interfaces so we have here this interface which is the word uh, interface and this is the MAC address or the physical address of this uh, network interface card so remember that the network interface card has its own address, hardware address, so it's shown here. So next is we set up Wireshark to capture packets. So uh, we have here, uh, it's running already. So maybe a previous connection was uh, was uh, started, but it stopped, so this is the output. But let's try to open uh, a web page, so I says that you will be the Page. and then you should see that the the tour shark started capturing packets okay so let's stop the capture of the packets and then let's examine the very first uh, I think we should start with this one okay. so this item here is the one that uh, this is the IP address of this uh, computer. This is the logical address shown here. Okay. This is the hardware address. So these two are different, as you recall. Uh, so it's a TCP uh, uh, segment. Okay. It's the initial uh, scene request. So let's look at the frame, Ethernet frame. So this is frame four and uh, total of 74 bytes so remember there's a minimum size for minimum length of the frame okay. and uh, on wire so on wire uh, 592 bits uh, and you have here 592 bits so remember 512 is the minimum uh, size of the frame okay. it's on interface 0 so encapsulation ethernet uh, frame number four so I recall our sequence numbers and this is the length so 592 is greater than 512 uh, the protocols in the in included so you have the Ethernet IP and TCP okay. uh, for the Ethernet 2 which is what you're interested so the destination is this HP device okay. This is the physical address. Uh, this is the uh, destination for the source. Okay, so I think this was uh, mistakenly identified from uh, the provider, the vendor. But you see here the MAC address of the the, the interface here. So you have. 30 colon 65 so you have 30 colon 65 so this is the originator or the source of uh, the frame and then the type uh, which is the 0 times uh, 0x 0800 which is IPv4 meaning the payload of this ethernet frame is an IP uh, datagram okay so you can use uh, Wireshark to study the fields and the uh, different values of uh, frames. Now let's look at this. Uh, at this uh, acknowledgement. Okay. 
Gisin, uh, okay, Gisin Ak. This is the response from the from the from the ICS website. So the source is the this one, and uh, the destination the destination is this computer okay, MAC address. Now, who is this uh, 8851 FB, etc. So we can uh, check the ARP cache. So, uh, ARP minus A. So you can see that uh, 8851 FB, the physical address, that is 8851 FB which is this uh, device okay so this is actually the ip address of the gateway so this is a switch actually okay so uh, that is uh, how you study the frame uh, that is sent uh, in uh, standard ethernet 